Hello, and welcome to today's session. This is part of the series of sessions leading up to the Ascend event in November. Please check out ascend.events for more information on all of the activities. We ask everyone to remain on mute while in this main room to eliminate background noise. Your mute button is in the lower left corner. Now, we're happy to welcome Jessica Clark and the team at the Association for Spaceflight Professionals. All right. All right, can everyone see the slides? Okay, can everyone hear me? All right, great. Well, welcome everybody, welcome. Thank you for joining us this morning, um, wherever you are in the world. So um, we are here today, um, have a very exciting topic for you all today. Uh, it's the developing of the next generation of commercial astronaut stories in space medicine, technology development, and building a new space community. So it's very exciting here for us at ASP to, uh, to talk to you guys. Uh, I'm gonna introduce myself here. We are um, part of ASP and uh, my name is Jessica Clark. I will be your moderator for today. Uh, I am the Education Outreach Officer with the Association of Spaceflight Professionals. Uh, a little bit about my background. I am a graduate researcher at Arizona State University. Um, my focus is on human factors in extreme environments. And uh, my, uh, I have certificates in uh, performance physiology, psychology, wilderness medicine, and uh, Antarctic and marine sciences. So before I introduce our speakers today, I'll tell a little bit about ASP. So ASP, we are a nonprofit organization and our members stem from students to seasoned professionals uh, from various backgrounds. And we all focus on the space industry. So whether it's space law, engineering, medicine, or entrepreneurship, our membership uh, focuses on catering to the needs of our, our membership. So our first speaker today, our first speaker today is uh, going to be our president and CEO, Dr. Michael uh, Gallagher. He is a fantastic person. He will be talking about the solving medical problems in the space in rural environments. So about Michael, he is a, uh, he is a uh, assistant clinical professor at the University of Alberta. He graduated from, um, from the International Space University in Space Studies. And he also uh, completed uh, uh, principles of aviation, space medicine, short course in University of Texas in 2015. He holds a certificate in advanced scuba diving and he is president of Association of Space Flight Professionals or ASP for short. And he's the president of Aerospace Medicine Association Corporate Forum. Our next speaker is Dr. Shonda Pandya. Hi, and she is here with us. And she uh, will discuss the experiences and space flight analogs. Uh, very exciting. Uh, Dr. Shonda Pandya, she is a, a, sci a scientist astronaut candidate with Project Possum, a physician, aquanaut, a pilot in training, skydiver, and uh, she is an advanced scuba diver. Now she uh, is a VP of Immersive Medicine at Lox Technologies and a fellow of uh, the Explorers Club. She holds degrees in neuroscience from the University of Alberta, a Master's of Science in Space Studies from the International Space University, uh, uh, a, uh, a degree in entrepreneurship from uh, Singularity University, and uh, she's also completing her fellowship in wilderness medicine. So this is Dr. Sean Fendia. Our next speaker today will be uh, Brett Bennett and he is our uh, he is our business development officer. Uh, he will be discussing uh, risk management and flight assurance with small set uh, missions. Uh, Brett he is an entrepreneur a 
a, uh, per, a human performance researcher and focusing on bio uh, astronautics and expeditional leadership. He's, uh, his degree is in neuroscience, genetics, and uh, he's worked on development of training realms and EEG-based technologies. So these are our wonderful uh, speakers today. And we, and uh, our, our, we all come together for our, our mission. So our mission is to develop the next generation of commercial astronauts through uh, creating networking, education, and research and mission opportunities for space professionals. So we, uh, we're here to create awareness and have you be interested in our discussion topics today to, to help build the next generation. So what ASP is, we bridge gaps, we solve problems, we stimulate conversations and test and create technologies. And uh, we are creating a platform, if you would say, or a launch pad for individuals in industry or coming into industry and who are already in industry. So we have um, several initiatives uh, stemming from educational content and uh, technological development. Um, and uh, we, uh, we do uh, educational series with the Space 101 and uh, we have monthly talks about uh, different, uh, different interdisciplinary approaches that are going on in space. And so we have uh, nutrition in uh, the space realm, we have um, small set, we have uh, space law, we talk about different entities that are important in uh, space. We've also, uh, our scope of success, we've also been in, completed a literature review for uh, space flight medical guidelines and professional development. Um, we've also are collaborating with different universities in the United States, uh, Canada, and around the world. Uh, we, are del uh, we are focusing on developing technologies in a free-flowing locker, uh, auto transfusion, and uh, LBMP sleeping bags. And we also have collaborations with different analog opportunities like with NASTAR and Project Possum. So with that, I'm going to send or bring it over to Brett, and he's going to discuss a little bit more about uh, about about uh, what else we do here at the ASB. Yeah, thank you so much, Jessica, and 